Hi everyone, uh, welcome to trip to OpenGL. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a circle using OpenGL. So, uh, this is a main agenda what I'm going to draw it with. So, I'm going to create a circle inside the auto 00 to 500 500 and the circle with the origin 250 250 and the radius as a 150. So, this is a simple circle what I'm going to create with. So, you can use this circle in the mini project like you want a uh, wheel of the car or you want to draw a steering of the car so this kind of object is really helpful for you okay now let me just dig inside the programming part so how do we have a program so we have a init to create a viewer we already created a viewer and mean to communicate with the windows and the application system so and the display to create an object so i'm going to create an object inside the display directly uh, so what is the object i need to create i need to create the a circle kind of object so i go with gl begin so gl polygon i use a polygon if you want you can use a line loop as well so but i always prefer the field object so i use a polygon there gl and yes okay now i need to write the vertex so I cannot write the vertex directly because I need the smoothness, I need the curviness. Uh, so for that I need to use the trigonometry function. So since I am using a trigonometry function, science and a cos, let me just add one more header file as a mat.h. You might know any trigonometry function if you want to add it. Include. Then you have to add this header file, mat.h. Okay, I had gone with this. So then, uh, I need to go with the each degree of the circle. So I need a for loop for this. So for I just take int i is equal to 0 i is less than 360. I need to go from 0 degree to a 360 degree. Then I have to increment to get the each degree. Right. So once I had been done this. Then I am going to write the vertex. So before I write the vertex, I need to convert this uh, degree into a radian because always in the computer we do work on the radian. So how do I can do this? So for that I take one float theta. So either you can write it outside the display here, alright? Otherwise you can write it inside the display also because it should be outside the for loop. That is what I meant, right? So I take theta is equal to i star pi by 180 pi by 180 3.142 divided by 180 so pi by 180 is always it converts a degree into a radian okay now once i got the radian here so now i need to write gl vertex to f vertex to f right now I need to first, I am going to add the cosine of angle, cos of angle, uh, cos of theta, then sine of theta. Okay, if you have done like this, so you are going to create an circle uh, with the origin as a 0, 0 and it always creates you the unit circle. Unit circle means which has a radius as a 1. Now you want the radius as a other thing rather than a 1 or a 150 something like this. So now we have a radius as a 150. Now what do you need to do? Uh, you need to multiply these points. So whatever the cosine, the cos of angle and the sine of angle with the 150. So 150 star here and 150 star here. Okay, once you have multiplied this, you get the circle. Uh, but always remember uh, now if you done like this so you get the circle at the 0 0 at the origin right let me just run you and show you this now you can see the circle is at 0 0 this is my ortho 0 0 to 500 500 and the circle has come at 0 0 so i can show you in this the paint circle has come over here at 0 0 now how to bring it back to a 250 so then you really need to add a 250 to it okay so where i need to add it so here 250 plus i should give and 250 plus here 
so if you have done this that means you have located a circle at the 250 250 okay now let me just run this part yes we got a circle at 250 250 exactly middle of our auto and uh, uh, we got the entire circle here so thanks for watching